Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Martyr in another episode, this time a small purge as well. And I will go on with the Emperor's Blessing as well. A little over here, okay, the map some sort looks this not not the same but very very um, the same way like the last one. Anyhow, um, Heretic Noble House, an aristocratic family, has been using x um, Xeno gene mongering to best their rivals, polluting the gene pool of the planet. Most of the family is already in custody, but a few resident uh, resisted, arrested, and barricaded themselves at a mansion, eliminate their corrupted militia and arrest the sinners, clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission, exterminate all enemies. A hundred thousand worlds, ten hundred thousand wars. There is no respite. There is nowhere to hide. Across the galaxy there is only war. Well, that is true, at least in the dark, in the very, very dark 40k universe, as you know. The grim, dark future. Actually, um, this universe is one of the darkest sci-fi universes I know. But that is, for me, some sort of the attraction or why I am so attracted to this universe. I don't know why it just feels the right way for me. Very, very weird, I know, but that it is. So, killing off the small guys, that is actually the cool thing how I enjoy with the auto fire of the auto gun that you just can, you know, spray, turn around and you basically, not all of the enemies are killed off, of course, but plenty of them are then just dead. That is what I really, really enjoy. Let's take down the trap bolter because it, it, it is a hideous device and can take down your suppression resilience or resistance, however you want to call it, very, very quick and that is, to be honest, not a nice situation to be in, just being honest right there. So as soon as the, yes, they, they are down, that is nice, so I can focus on the Renegade Commander. I'll never try to take down all the trap bolters of the guy, um, I, you know, just try to eliminate him at first, because then the bolt guns just explode and you basically don't have to kill them. That's just my magic there. Nothing out of the ordinary. Anyhow, we take the thunder hammer here of course with us. Why not? And then just go on. Oh, ooh, a large group of enemies. I'll take the buff with me. Does not hurt, so to say. What is weird that the um, AI actually is never trying to get out of the explosion radius, which I would do and I would expect of the AI, but anyhow, what am I even complaining about right here? Those guy, do this guy, not those guy, this guy down. That one just exploded like so as well. And on we go. What I think is funny, it's always when you get buffs or when you get debuffs, oftentimes the buff is going over to your ally as well. As you can see, our little baby there is buffed as well. Although it is not fighting, it does not do any damage to any enemy. So cool, but weird, I think. So let's focus on the marina. The grenade there was not useless, I think. Um, we killed off a couple of enemies, which is nice. And that was a nice little action. I counteracted his jump ability with my jump ability, which meant he just flew um, not into us. That is quite nice. So these guys are all gone. That is nice. Did I? Yes, I oversaw a little gobbler there. And that was the gunner of the little things down there. I'll of course take the supply with me because we already have used three of our grenades which means I only have two left. So pick up and we are up to four again which is a way nicer feeling to say the least. As I said 
I guess I'm not using those grenades to their full potential. I think not. Um, they're for me just fine um, because they do or they do their damage for me anyhow there. So nice little explosion. Again, not the greatest, but for me just you know it just worked out. Bless my gun, I'll take with me, although I don't assume that is going to um, replace our wonderful auto gun here. You can see um, wh what I'm there. I'm really, really surprised about the auto gun. It is normally not a anti armor weapon, it is more a anti um, personnel weapon. If I. The battle is swinging our way. One last push, and the victory is ours. If I'm allowed to say that. Um, when you use it against armor, it is not that good, but it should not be that good. But as you see, um, with the elite enemies, it is just holding up against um, the plasma gun, for example. But this is a situation where I should employ a punching weapon like the plasma gun, which I think is the weapon supposed to be used against those targets, unless it is overheated, which happens in, or which happened just now. So this guy down, is he exploding? Yes, he's going to explode. Something I want not to stand in. I actually, fun fact, little fun story. They already was so stupid staying in the explosion radius, and I was at one point killed off by that very, very um, uh, um, embarrassing. But hey, that is if you want to see elite gameplay, you I guess are on the wrong channel right here. So let's take those marinas down and I want to face the Hellbrood all alone in the end. That is what I do enjoy with the um, purchase here, that they, that you have a bigger or a some sort of boss fight in the end. Um, we had that in the last episode as well, where we were then facing a sentinel, so that I like. All right, open up the chest, and then we are good to go. Exit, and then we shall have a little, ooh, the animation that was new, I think, or I've never seen it that way. And then we shall have a little bit of a deep breathing and a wonderful, a wonderful um, look at the items we have received right here. The inoculator, for example, could be good, um, whether or not we will find out a little bit of fate that is nice as well so the breathing post-action report the matter is finished the deletion of the family from imperial records record is in progress operation successful next step resources are being relocated to our previous investigation as a new lead was discovered an abandoned warehouse was discovered containing giant storage tanks filled with human blood well guys that we will take a look at in the next episode for now let us quickly go through our um, the items we have received right here which seem mm, as you see we get items which are not bad but which are on the same level sometimes as our weapons equipped but not good enough but guys that leads us to the end of this episode and you know it i really thank you for watching if you guys have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day ah uh, stay frosty bye